Yo, so welcome to my first tutorial and shit. So, yeah, I'm gonna teach you how to text star like really well. So, basically, you have your default clip. Let's see. Um, get that name point is before she turns. So, I'd have only a singular movement, not two. So, because in this clip, she like moves down and then I'd only have one movement there. So, that's a good place to cut it off and that's your clip so what you want to do now is every time you see a movement uh split so the control for that is shift control d you can manually split if you want and so let me do this really quick Alright, so now you have your clip. Now, what you want to do, you want to highlight it from the bottom to the top. And what you want to do is make it so it's one frame only. And yeah, just like that. Now, what you want to do is right click your layers, keyframe assistance, sequence layers. Now, you want to pre compose it that you can pre compose by this, so use Shift Control C. Make sure this box is tick and this box is tick. And okay, now you have your clip. So, let's see. So I want the clip to be about this long, let's see. So because this is just how long the sequence is, and if you want your clip to be like this long basically, what you do is you go to time, enable time remapping, or press control, alt T, which I normally do. Show on the layer where you want it to end. And now add your Twixter. So you add Twixter Pro and then Contrast edge enhance, push motion rate blend forward, put this to 100 frame number. Okay, that's all you're saying. You can pause the video and like see what they are and shit. So that's basically my general setting. Some people do use inverse, but I wouldn't really recommend it honestly. Oh, sorry. Okay, and now you want to like basically move into the last frame is it, but um, my sensitivity is too high for this, so I just like guess 5 frames. And yeah, I think that's the last clip. Oh no, 6. Maybe 6. Alright, fine. Perfect. So now what you want to do is graph it. So if you do have flow, this is amazing. Um, extension, whatever. I would normally get, get a graph looking like this. Uh, so then you just click apply or if you want to do it manually you can go here oh, so just a speed graph um, yep f9 to easies and make it somewhat like that this this is the most preferred graph I'd use sometimes you'd use it even sharp graph like this but generally I just use this but yeah so now you have your Twixer. So I'll sorry for it off that. This is pretty pretty clean. It's a little bit of warps, but that can be solved with just adding our SMB. So my general sense for that is 50 and 22. Just warps a bit less. And that kinda looks smoother. Alright. <clears throat> now you have that done. Now I want to show you something that you've never seen before or I haven't seen other people do it. So, in most anime clips, like, or anime movies, sorry, like Asylum Voice or Liz and the Blue Bear, they have movement with the face, so they have camera movement, moving as, moving with the face's direction. So what you want to do now is actually do that yourself because it makes it more clean and it just looks much better in my opinion. So scale values can be either from 105 to 120, depending on how scaled the clip is ready. This is not that scaled in, so I, I think 110 should be fine for this. Oh, well, actually, no, 110 should be. Uh, okay, 115 should be fine. And now you want to keep from your position as well. So now uh, let's start at the top because the clip, uh, sorry, her face is moving down. So I'm gonna start at the top. This doesn't matter. So literally, because you're going to have black bars anyways, I'll add a black bars in there, so this does not matter at all. Actually, 110 is a bit scaled in at 115. 
and then next clip our next keyframe you move it ever so slightly just a little bit down you can change this position to just uh, make sure this doesn't show because either you can uh, motion tile it or just leave it or motion tile it basically or just don't bother doing that next okay just move a little bit more down uh, move it more to the right or left and then move it a bit more down now just move it there it actually move down more here so i'd move it down even more here uh, just put it that way okay a little bit down and a little bit down here all right cool now you have your channel oh that sounds okay okay now you have your general clip for your tokens are now what you can do to clean this up a little bit add bars um, put that to 10 and uh, normally i keep at 75 but this is your preference and now you have a really nice tricks up oh, just let it pre-con you have added movement as well which looks much cleaner and is easier to let's say clip select basically so yeah Thank you for watching this Twitch tutorial and hope you learned something new today.